What's up everybody? Peter McKenna here. <laughs> yes, exactly. What is the thing that people don't know about you? <laughs> I, I am good at being good at this. <laughs> wow. Good fun. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hello friends. Today I'm with Mohammed and Chatai. You already know them. So we have a question challenge and we're gonna ask some questions to each other and you will find out soon. First one will be Mohammed. Mohammed, ask you will ask someone. Excuse. Okay, I will ask Khan. Yes. Uh I have a hard questions for you. Be ready. Okay. Uh, I want to uh, to know something that you regret in life. Not the must thing that you Bro, regret. That was one of my questions. Yeah, come on. <laughs> oh, it's okay. By the way, we don't know our questions. Yeah. It's a direct secret. So, my regret is not knowing some languages earlier, earlier age in my life. What languages? French, English, uh, it, I mean, it would be perfect for me to learn earlier. What would happen if you learned before? Uh, it would contribute me to uh, increase my career base. I want to travel all, all over the world. And most importantly, I, I want to live in uh, Europe right now. So it could contribute me in that way as well. Nice. Yes. Okay. I have another question. To Chatai, yes. To Chatai. Uh, what is the most thing that bothers you about women? That bothers you about women? You will tell me the must, uh, the one that must bother you. Um, bothers me. Well, well. To be honest with you, some women just think, just think they're, pro uh, they're special just because they are women, you know, and just because they have some stuff you know they have curvy body they have sexy you know stuff but as uh, you know all those stuff just because of that they already they they also think they have a clever mind they have other stuff so uh, in a nutshell i must say the thing that bothers me about women is uh, if a woman thinks some things about herself that she actually doesn't have but she thinks she has that uh, I, I really don't like that. I want the exact thing that you uh, faced in, in your, in your la previous relationship. Yeah, it's in oh. your experience, yeah. Well, well. well. Uh, One thing being that smart or that being capable of something. Yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Uh, well, well, one specific fact is... I mean, most of the women that I know just don't take risks they don't risk anything well most of them that i know from my experience of course there are some others who risk whenever they may risk but uh, as far as i know they don't risk so they don't take their chances about their life and their life don't get better and after that they just ask why am i living a bad life instead i could live a better life if I had taken that chance but they don't take their chances I got it my turn then I think yeah for first question comes to Chatai okay don't be hard, so hard on me no 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 the, I'm gonna ask similar question to each of them like in this first questions then it will be diverse what do you think about marrying a religious girl that I'm supposing, supposing that you're not so religious person, that's why, yeah. Well, I'm skeptic, as you know, but this question uh, will put me into a lynch inside of a society, knowing that I don't want to answer it. Come on. Uh, I'm, I'm just kidding, okay. <laughs> uh, actually, I mean, I, I wouldn't marry with a religious girl, I mean, don't matter what religious that she belongs I wouldn't uh, I, I don't think I would marry with such a girl I don't know uh, because you know being skeptic and being religious is very diverse kind of uh, opinion in for for every person 
So I don't think I will be able to get along with a religious person for the rest of my life. I mean, you were talking about a marriage. So I don't think I will agree with her about how to raise my kids, how to how to become a family. So uh, I really don't think I would marry. So is it is it a topic that uh, if you agree on, so everything will be okay? If I agree on what? If she is religious, it does not work out for you. But yeah. If she is not religious, it does work out for you. There's, there's too many factors actually that. Yeah, there are too the many way. factors. That is why I'm selling this question. <laughs> sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that is why I just say. Okay, but I'm I'm gonna ask the same question to him. Uh, what do you think about marrying an atheist girl, a le lady? Hard question. Yeah, because uh, okay, I, I'm, I'm asking. Take, take, take that yeah. moment. Take that now. Take that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> To be honest, uh, it does not work out for me. I am a religious person, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, the, those things that we we talked about. One of the uh, things that I want to have in the girl that I will marry is uh, to be religious. Uh, okay. Well, well, because well, that let, let's shut this man's shut this man up because you know we're getting along well. You're a religious person. Yeah. I am not. But this person just. <laughs> making trouble right now, so just ignore him, okay? <laughs> so w when it comes to marriage, it's different. It's different a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's so why. Yes, that's this. Cri that's yeah. a critical question. That's why I wanted to ask you that this this question. And I know you very well. Like both let of let you. me put it that's straight for you. Yes. Uh, since I am a religious person <laughs> in religion, uh, you cannot marry with that atheist girl. You can have a friends. So you cannot marry at this girl. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so that's that's the issue for me, and uh, yeah, we yeah, respect that. Yeah, so it does not work. As much as we respect him, we respect of you. Of course, right? we respect each other already. We we yeah. have different yeah. opinions, yeah. and we have different questions. Yes. <laughs> My turn. Yeah, go for it. Well, people, look, these guys are trying to make fun of me, but I will go easy on them. Listen. Come. Okay. What is your life goal? It's easy, easy question. <laughs> yeah, as he said. Yeah, easy yeah. to ask, but not yeah, easy, easy to, to answer. Yeah, it's true. Uh, I already answered to you like several times. Um, I I really like helping people and society, even maybe to the world. That's why I'm really um, into these things. It's really I know it's not easy. But I, I, I want to just contribute to the society, to the world. It's not, there is no exact definition, but I can tell you that there are many problems such as migration, such as poverty, these kind of things. So I want to contribute my help to, towards a, like poor countries, underdeveloped countries and uh, people who require help. In, uh, like as a as an Im immigrant. So how w how long is the period that you will achieve this goal with? No, this is dedication. Uh, there is no process right. on it. Like right. there's there's no well it, it, it's answer. Like I, I, as I understand, he's just telling about a pathway of yes. life. Yes. Like not something to achieve, but a lifelong goal that you will try to achieve, yeah, knowing that you don't you will not achieve it in the end. Something yeah. like that. And my question to Mohammed, right? Yeah, go for it. Uh, well, I really want to ask this because I really like your YouTube videos. I especially I like your editing. I I like your transitions between uh, between footages. I like your music. I, I I really like your editing style. So I really want to understand which can which which YouTube channels you yeah. like the most. I mean, just say one YouTube channel. That is favorite. Uh, the one that is my favorite is the one that uh, motivated me. Except for my challenge. Yeah. Except for my challenge. <laughs> Say something else. Oh, that's a Say, something. <laughs> <laughs> Say something. Say something. Tell it. During the quarantine, actually, uh, I usually don't you don't watch TV uh, a lot. Also YouTube. I don't. I didn't watch uh, YouTube a lot. So I was in the quarantine and I went out to the salon. My family was watching uh, somebody who is traveling the world. Uh, he's an Arab uh, uh, Jordanian guy. 
Uh, his name is Joe Hattab. Uh, he was he was traveling. He was showing Maldives uh, island, uh, Maldives islands. And when I saw his videos, I said, "This is the life that I would like to live." And I have no uh, nothing to stop me. So my favorite uh, YouTube, uh, my favorite YouTuber is Joe Hattab, and uh, I discovered by incident. Uh, it was not uh, I was searching Excellent. for that. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, incident, yeah. So I would like to ask this question for both of you, but okay, this is not, it's okay. no, no, it's not the rules. <laughs> Veritasium, like Veritasium, Veritasium. There are three, wait, three, three wait. favorite, fav three okay. favorite YouTube channel. Veritasium, 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 <laughs> nothing else. What is it about? Tell me why huh. also. Uh, well, Ver Veritasium is pure science and he is interested in all areas of science and I'm super interested in science also so I really rely on his stuff he brings out each and every single experts on every area of science and I really like to watch him I, I like how he likes science actually what about you Khan? what is your favorite channel my favorite channel is um, I like uh, Peter McKinnon yeah he's uh, why yeah, because he's uh, like entrepreneur, he's always uh, take over some uh, like different stuff, and most of the most important thing is he's kind of trustworthy. I mean, he's he's also a dedicated guy. He knows how to do this stuff, and he like also the key is here that he has a great energy, like he's. You can see, like comparing to other YouTube guys, he has great energy that, like, uh, you can trap in his uh, energy. That's okay. why I, I would, uh, I love him. Yeah. Something yeah. like this, isn't it? What's up, everybody? Peter McKenna here. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> always energetic, always learn, teaching us some things. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Yes, your, your, your turn. My yeah. turn. My question is to Chatai. Uh, what is your perfect day looks like? Ah, oh, well, 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 well. Mm. One of the... Describe it. Yes, like. I will describe it. Well, From the morning until the evening, I would like... From the morning yeah. till the evening. My perfect routines that I'm... I'm assuming that I am achieving each and every routine yes. goal that I have, yes. right? Yes, exactly. Okay, okay then. Well, I wake up uh, before the sun, before the sun goes up. I wake up, uh, I just make some exercise, I do some exercise, then I do some breath work, then I go to a cold shower, just like Wim Hof teaches us, and then I plan my day, I do some... Uh, you know, I have planned my week earlier, and I I just checking that I'm just checking that list, uh, that to do list for that day, and I'm starting to do them. And also I'm uh, eating healthy food, drinking much, drinking a lot of water, like up to two and a half liters, let's say. And then by the night, I just go to sleep early so that I can secrete enough melatonin to uh, have my hippocampus work efficiently so that I can remember everything that I learned that day. I mean, if the stuffs I read on a book or I watched some, uh, in, uh, I watched some good YouTube video, something like that. Uh, this is sort of my day routine i my, my ideal yes your perfect day routine yeah okay <coughs> the the part of uh winhof uh was strange for me who's winhof wim hof wim, wim hof. hof is called uh the iceman and he has several world records guinness records uh he swam in alaska right in the middle oh right in the middle of uh, winter and he has all sorts of different weird uh, like superhuman like achieve achieved uh, records and by the way he has some nice influences to 
uh, science too. Uh, there are studies on him. Uh, he's a good guy. He also has a YouTube channel, Wim Hof YouTube channel. I yeah. I really recommend him. Nice. You can just Google him. Yeah, he's he's very cool. Yes. My questions for you, Khan. Yes. Uh, what is the biggest challenge that you are facing right now mm -hmm. in your life? Uh, I I studied in master's uh, degree in Belgium, mm -hmm. and after that I had to come back to Turkey for a couple of months. I hope I can go back again, but the problem is. I'm too social person, like a social person. So I don't like staying at home, but unfortunately during the lockdown situation, I have to stay at home. This is my biggest challenge. And also like plus, I am unemployed person right now. Like I don't need any job, but I, 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 say, I, must, I must say like going out is a kind of excuse for leaving your house. And I don't have such excuse in my life. That's the thing. Like, I try to put some excuse for myself while shooting some YouTube videos. That's my like escape routine. What is the biggest challenge that you are facing right now? Yes, like staying this one. This one. Staying at home. Yes, staying at home. Uh, this is our old problem. Like he's so outgoing. I yeah. know. I I know by experience. I I know him for years, and whenever we go walk outside. Someone stops him and says hi. He is uh, <laughs> like a social butterfly. So mm -hmm. it's so normal that he cannot stay at home. He, he parties like there is no tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, uh, my, my turn. Yeah, your turn. Okay, uh, for Chatai, I have a question that I already know, uh, like the details, but I, still I want to ask, ask you this question because I want to hear your explanation on this. Matt Devala or Peter McKinnon? Matt Devala. Why? Well, Peter McKinnon is uh, always a beginning point for us creators. Like he is a very good reference point to understand what are our what is our skill level right now. But Matt Devala has cinema looking footages. And uh, especially their style are so different, I guess, but they all use high-end cameras like red camera. They all use NTG4 plus uh, mics when they are in studio and they all use the very high-end cameras, everything. But their contents vera, vary uh, and Peter's contents are mostly about photography and cinematography but uh, right now I am more about like learning new stuff and Matt Diwala, uh, ex experiences and uh, shares his experiences in life he makes experiments about things uh, like he says for instance in one of his video he says I uh, had cold shower for 30 days Mm. Well, when you enter his video, you see his experiences and you decide whether you want to try it or not and uh, you can see what will happen to you. Uh, in Long story short, Matimala is my answer. Okay, great. Okay, and it comes to you. Which country do you want to live in and you want to discover? Uh. To live in, it's. I, th I think I am, not, I am not in a place that I can answer now, because uh, I don't want to stay in one in one place for a long time. Okay. Uh, but the country that I want to discover is. Uh, there is a couple of countries. Uh, I want to discover Africa. Uh, is there any Congo. specific? Yeah, Congo. Yeah, Congo. Uh, I want to discover Congo because I had a friend in. Uh, in the university, uh, and he told us some stuff about uh, Congo, and I would like to discover that place. And also, I, yeah, Africa for me is like uh, a place that I would like to discover all the time. I went to uh, Egypt only. I would like to discover also the other places. Uh, the place that I want to live 
Actually, I don't know. Yeah, still I don't know. Cause, uh, You're still in the process? Yeah. I, I want to travel, see, then decide, actually. Mm. So, wh what about you? Where would you like to live? Mm. Um, I have two answers for this question. I would say the Netherlands and Spain. Uh, you, like, you cannot live in two places. No, no. <laughs> no either either uh, Netherlands okay. or Spain. Okay. I, I, mean, I mean, maybe they are different, but... Uh, still, I feel uh, confident living in those countries. That's why I would say two of them. Yeah. What, what about you, Chatai? Well, I don't have as I don't have an answer to that, but I can say uh, it's not where you live. It's uh, who is living with you. Okay. So uh, uh, I think the family is so important in life and and if I get married one day and if I have kids uh, the place that has the most opportunities for them is the best place for me okay okay my turn is it okay okay yeah uh, okay uh, my question first question to which one of you which one wants some trouble I'd like to start you, okay, okay okay what's your regrets in life Tell me one. One big regret. I would like to not tell, but it is university. Uh, I wish I would not, I, I did not enter the university. Really? Yeah. yeah. Why not? It cost me like seven years of my life and uh, I got nothing from it. And now I, I left the, where I work with my degree. And did already I didn't enter with my degree. I, I developed myself without the degree. Before I get the degree, I was working. So, so you already knew about software engineering before I, you... I developed myself when I was like locked down somewhere. It's not because of COVID. <laughs> but I was locked down somewhere. Uh, and I had to do something to learn something. And I learned about software. And that's how I learned. I didn't learn from degree. And uh, my biggest regret is... I wish I did not get the degree. Can I answer something for, to this? Yeah. Um, I, I would say, like, we studied in, Chate and I studied in Birkenf University, in the Bachelor, and I studied a Master's degree in Belgium, as I told you. So, I would say, university doesn't teach you how to, like, what to learn. They teach you how to learn. No, they don't. I think uh, I, 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 it's like this. I, I agree I, that they I don't. don't. Eh, eh, uh, like you, you say, they potentially say they. I, I, I really understand you. Eh, ideal university must do that. But as Jelal Schenger says, there are no universities in Turkey, and I'm including Bilkent too. And I don't consider myself as a uh, like graduate person from a like licensed degree but okay. or whatever. Well, but don't don't forget about your uh, past, uh, like educational past, that you studied in uh, Birkenhead High School, that you learned something there. Uh, but maybe not inside of the university, but still it's based on the. System. No, no, no. I, I didn't say that. I learned a lot of things in university. Mm. It brought so much into my life, but. Mm -hmm. What it brought to me was not the concept of university. Okay. It's just a school. Yeah, <clears throat> I agree. Bro, because but also in your case as well, you you didn't. I mean, unfortunately, you couldn't study in the same university for a long time. Like you couldn't fr finish the degree. You couldn't, you couldn't uh, yeah. graduate in the same ha, university. My, my issue is not only not being able to study somewhere, but the issue is. Uh, I was graduated from a school and I studied in a couple of countries. After that, I, I am making contract now and I don't know how to make a contract. What is this university that does not teach you how to deal with people yeah, so in, we, in real they life? They have to be updated to no, teach this. They thing. don't have it in the curriculum. Yes, yeah, they, they don't that's, what I mean. yeah. that's what I mean. I, I think when you go up out to life, you need to learn some very important stuff. How to talk with people, how to deal with people, uh, uh, like how to make contracts, how to convince them to take you to job, how there's too many but stuff. But if you're a entrepreneur. How, how to deal with money, 
They don't teach you. You you go out and you, you try to discover it yourself. Some people does not discover it at all. Uh, you need to, to learn how to write. They don't teach us how to write. You only write some couple of paragraphs. You don't write creatively, actually. So in YouTube uh, thing, you have to be creative. You have to know how to write. Uh, to have to take some notes and then uh, do something. So they don't teach you how to write. So what do they teach us? So he wants a YouTuber license school. That includes how to deal with money and how to deal with people. <laughs> yeah, so I, uh, I just, it was not my biggest regret. It was one of my regrets, actually. So I regret that I, I lost a couple of years from my life for school. Since I did it, I did it well, actually. I, I was graduated as uh, first, uh, gradu great as the first in the uh, computer science in Atul University. But uh, and since I did it, I did it well, but I did not want to do it. Okay. Thank you for the question. It was okay. a really good question. Yeah. Uh, ah, it's my, my, my <laughs> no problem, buddy. No problem. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for the question. This happens all the time. <laughs> I, I'm just used to it. <laughs> just don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, well, so my nice. question to Khan comes. Um, the book that has the most impact in your life. Uh, Francis Bacon essays, and it's essays. Yes, essays. Hmm. Yeah, because uh, I already told you a uh, long time ago about this book, and it was the flame that I got from the book, and uh, it had different kinds of topics that he was trying to explain about life. That's why he, uh, he made me realize that how to uh, approach a certain thing or like question then he was answering. It was the thing that I like got the flame from him. That then or after that I was so curious person like m even more. I, I was always curious person but then I, even more then I, I was reading a lot of different kinds of books in my life right after him. So you still think Bacon is Shakespeare? I do. <laughs> <laughs> what is the story of? Oh, just never mind. It's another kind of a bullshit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a com conspiracy theory that indicates uh, Francis Bacon is the Shakespeare, basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, your turn. My turn. Okay. My question is for you, Khan. My question is, what is the thing that you are very good at? Like. You can tell me more than one thing, but I, I need to know one thing. He asks, what is the thing that you suck less? <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is this is an interview question, but I'm sorry. I, I would like uh, to ask also some will stuff you, like this. Will, will Tricky. You, yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> you, go ahead, what? <laughs> what did you say? Will, will you just uh, employ him? I was going to ask, but just <laughs> It's not a... a uh, talking and uh, the, like technological things, the, like tools, uh, devices, gadgets. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, how, how do you think you can improve yourself with those things? Ah, actually, YouTube is like one of the keys that I want to improve my talking skills because there is no end on this. And while doing so, I try to how to express myself in better ways like this is really tough thing I, I still I don't know like and I'm not that in that level I want to be but in the other thing I try to be updated all the time for technological things I read some articles I watch some videos also I buy some things like some tools then I want to discover on them like how to work, like how to solve some problems. Like, as you know, you also use some technological devices, then you encounter some problems. It can be like very annoying, like very cringy uh, for all of us. That's why I, I, I work on more to improve myself. Okay. What about you? Uh, what I am good at? Hmm. I am good at uh, doing something and learn everything about it. 
like uh, as a software I learned it by myself so I start from not from zero but I start from the very beginning and I went to the good level in it like I'm trying to learn now uh, editing videos montaging and I'm trying to get good at it so I'm good at researching okay yeah. what about sure. chat type well uh, yeah when it comes I, to I, I am good at being good at things <laughs> wow! Godfather. <laughs> wow! <laughs> okay. Rooster. <laughs> okay. My question. No. Um, it was my question. Yeah. He I asked, asked you, you, and he is asking me right now. Yeah. Ah, sorry. Stop ruining this show, man. The, <laughs> the campus was lost. <laughs> no. I thought you. Yeah, yeah. I asked you a question. What are you good at? Now I am asking him. Uh, Funny question, actually. I always get funny answers about this question, uh, but sometimes I get sad stuff about this question. What did you do in your teenagehood uh, to show people that you are exist? Because you know, some people we are re really strange things, different couple of sucks. <laughs> Maybe he was beating some people. Maybe beating. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he. I think he was. Yeah, some people. Uh, <coughs> just things. Uh, to be totally be honest with you, I never thought about it, but uh, I, I never wanted to show myself to anyone. Really, but yeah. really, I, I, I really mean it. The special thing about teenagers that uh, you are a kid now, then suddenly your voice changes, everything changes, you are, you are a man. But they're still Wrong, man. dealing with you as a kid. So you are trying to tell them that I'm not a kid anymore. I'm I was man. fighting. I was fighting. So, yeah. I was ar 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 arguing with all of them. What about your style? Uh, nothing changed, to be honest with you. But but um, probably my attitude against people changed. Uh, I became kind of a sharp person, sharp, you know. I was arguing about anything to anyone. I was talking against to everyone, but. To their faces. You are still there. <laughs> to their faces. I, 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 that's what I'm trying to under explain right now. Uh, nothing changed. <laughs> I'm still like that, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I really don't have sp uh, something particular to understand that question. I really don't. So you didn't do anything that to show girls also that you exist? Like, uh, I don't know. Different hairstyles, some very weird. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, now, 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 now! I have an answer to you. Yeah, that was a hint. Yeah, that that was a hint. Nice hint. Well, uh, I was showing myself up to guys, showing that I am good at picking a girl. Oh, show off well, picking well, well, girl. Yes, that was my style. I was showing that I exist with all my skills to get a girl. <laughs> Well, I, I was showing this to people in my sex, you know, Maybe. gender. Uh, I, I was showing this, and th that is all. <laughs> yeah, that's all. <laughs> he, he, was, he was good at uh, picking up girls. <laughs> <laughs> I was good at picking up girls, and I was showing this to Show men off. around me, boys around me. Show off. Yeah, I was showing off. Yeah. What about you, Khan? I, I would like to know what is the weird thing that you did in your ten teenage youth that to show people that I am exist, I am a man. I mean, um, practicing a lot uh, to be a better basketball player and uh, then well I became basketball uh, like basketball team's captain then uh, it was very good opportunity for myself to prove to my father and prove like to other girls etc like it was the thing that I was showing off like my skills so didn't you have that weird uh, no. style that like you <laughs> put lots of no. hair uh, styling stuff like and also maybe earrings? Well, well earrings. I, I removed the middle of my eyebrows. <laughs> 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 that is the thing. Yeah, that is the <laughs> that is the thing. Yeah, I must say. So you you become sexier when <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's ask you. Me, it was mostly about the the style actually. I was wearing weird stuff like. Uh, white, very, very white and very uh, flat shoes. I was wearing like uh, the shirt, uh, so so I was putting one of them in the in the pants and one of them was uh, out. Uh, I was one of my hands until here and the other was uh, full. 
like I was wearing different colors, sometimes different color of socks, but uh, when I wear them, I try not to show them, especially because some people make fun of, of them. So I was mostly about style, actually. Mm. It was about style. I was okay. sure. Yeah, style. it's a good question, but yeah, still, but very, very we, original. Yeah. We were not there, like uh, weird, eccentric things. Uh, he was showing off. <laughs> I had some pretty funny stuff, yeah. Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Who is third? Mine. Huh? Who is third? Is it? Mine. Yeah, go on. Y you said your favorite YouTube challenge is where it tells you. And I will ask you this question. I, I changed the question because you, since you answered your favorite channel, uh, I will ask before the question. Saying that, like, do you, like, you remember Plato like, accepted your offer, you approached them to be like be part of the Plato's thing. Then one day, if uh, Veritasium asked you to join like a team, like part of a bigger organization, would you join as a Chatai item because you have a personal channel? Would you be part of another bigger admired like channel or would you be uh, like individual? It's not about channels, it's not about people. It's not about the country. It's not about anything actually. The most important thing in this in this say in in this case, the most important thing for me is to be able to get the data, the information, the knowledge that I'm seeking for. Uh, so, well, the projection that you draw had some of the finest brains, some of the clever people in the world. So. I will be glad to be part of them. I will be glad to be a student for student of them. I will be glad to be part of the most clever people in the world. Well, to be honest with you, one of my life goals is to be able to have friends who are geniuses. Like, I mean, real geniuses. Like Brian Greene, like, uh, I mean, David Sinclair, like all those people. I really want to make them my friends. I want to chat about them, about their inventions, about their discoveries in science. So this is like a dream. Yeah, I, I, I would really like to do that. So what is the idea of being genius? Uh, being genius is like, you know, I'm a very scientific person and genius is so clever. Like for me or generally you are asking? For you. Yeah, for me, a genius has seeing the world other than general people like general side of the world what i mean is uh, a genius sees a problem from the perspective of its solution a genius looks at the world in the view of science pure science not from a religious point of view not some sort of spiritual point of view which i'm totally not part of it, part of, and also a genius uh, teaches me what I was seeking for. This is what I'm looking for, actually. Uh, I was going to ask you. Yes. Hmm, quick question. Okay, uh, that's a difficult question uh, for you. Go ahead. I mean, you need to think about it a bit, a bit, a while. And which year would you go to live in? Which year? Like. 2020 or further back like okay if you had a chance uh, I, I just want that kind of a question yeah, why, we can why ask don't you ask, ask me? right after, right after <laughs> this yeah. we can ask you I can give you my question, <laughs> <Give> my question. <laughs> yeah you go go ahead bro uh, actually I would like to go to, to the to the time that where there was no uh, smartphones actually I would like to stay there I really, I really would like Like maybe in 1990? In the 90s. All the 90s, the, I didn't have any uh, smart device. I was trying to be smart all the time. So you want to get rid of all of the smartphones? Yes. I would like to live in a place that there is no uh, smart stuff in our life. Like the television that had a very huge tube. Uh, you cannot move it everywhere. Uh, those kind of stuff. Uh, I, will, I would like to live in a place where there is not too much st smart stuff. And it is one of my, uh, well, it is on my bucket list actually. I would like to go live in an island uh, for like a couple of 
months, I don't know how, how I can manage it, where there is no this kind of stuff. What about you chatting? Uh, what was the question? <laughs> Which, Which year? year would you go to live in? <laughs> well, I would go to, uh, if I could, uh, 10,000 or 100,000 AD or more, if I can. Yeah, uh, I, I have, I, I don't see anything, uh, I, I see lots of things uh, in the past, I like them, I get enthusiastic about them, but what I'm most curious about is the future. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there is this Kardash have uh, called theory. a Russian uh, physicist who has theory of type 1, type 2 and type 3 civilizations and we are yet the type 0 kind of civilization. Type 1, type 3? Yeah, type 1, type 2, type 3. Type 0? Type 0, there is none type 0, but ah. we cannot even enter to his ah. scale. We are even mm. such primal, let's say. Uh, well, if we become sort of a type 2 civilization one day or type 3 civilization one day, I would like to see that. So, what is type 2 or type 3 civilization? Which means there is no nations, there is no religion, there is no... Uh, some, there is nothing that Racist. will that distinct, that, uh, that differentiate people from each other. We as human beings, as humankind, homo sapiens, are only together equal and everything is equal also we have technology we are getting our energy from the sun directly from via uh, a dyson sphere or something like that we don't have a problem of energy we don't have wars we just go uh, also we go and go to other galaxies go to other uh, you know uh, planets we colonize other solar systems uh, that is what I want to see, and Tolga Chatalpunar will agree with me. <laughs> yes, I guess. Uh, my brother. Yeah, it's a good one, but don't you afraid of destruction of the world, of the earth? Like, it's also possible, maybe humankind will destroy the world, so yeah. we can't live in inside. It's also possible? Yes, actually, maybe, actually, yeah. that's a very good point. I, I just want to extend it a bit, if you let me. Uh, this 21st century is the most vital century of human history, probably. Why is that? Well, the first thing here is we have type 1 translation started. What that means, uh, I will give you an example. A type 1 language is English. A type 1 economy model is like European Union, as you know, and also I will. Uh, uh, type 1 com communication system is the internet. We're transforming ourselves from being a type 0 civilization to type 1. And in that translation, we have some people, some groups of people who doesn't want that. And they bring the terror. Well, those groups cause terror because they don't want it to change. They just want to keep it static. You know, the status quo, what so-called, they want to keep it. So they, wanna, they don't want to live in a world that everyone is equal the racists want to be a racist still you know there are thousands of people who voted for trump today you know we have a lot of different uh, still non-human racial and non-animal racial issues today even going on and this earth th this era this 21st century will be so important it we will see if we will destroy our earth or we will become a type 1 civilization. I have a question about this book actually. Uh, when was it, was it written? It's not a book. It's uh, based on the energy use. Uh, physicist, uh, a Russian physicist, Kardashev, uh, comes with an idea of type civilizations and he uh, listed the uh, I will show you afterwards if you want. And when was it written? Yeah, uh, he, <coughs> I, I think 40 years ago or something like that. Uh, he uh, scientifically he wrote the amount of energy that every civilization needs and the places that a civilization will get its energy from, and it's based on that. And to to be uh, like to be clear, uh, I can say uh, we are having our 
energy from fossil fuels right now from that plants you know thousands and thousands of years of dead plants we are having our energy from them right now we will have a fusion energy in the following years which we will get from like seawater uh, some amount of seawater with a fusion energy we will get thousands and thousands kilowatts of energy and it it will be so efficient and at the end we will get our energy from sun and even maybe from a black hole your turn is it my turn? Okay. Uh, huh. <laughs> uh, I'm asking you, which one is more important, science or art? Oh, oh, that's very good question, isn't very, it? Yeah, I really like those kind of questions. Wow, it's really difficult to answer, uh, but I was thinking about this sometimes, and as as much as I read from some books. I must say, like com comparing to inventors, I would say, like Da Vinci is my, like one of the top guys for me. I would say science is the most important because when you have science, like art is imitating the science, like trying to put in a, another reality in science. For example, a person you can't make a real person like human uh, like easily but you can put a sculpture you can you can't maybe imagine something sci uh, science fiction but in the art you can imagine what whatever you want it's trying to imitate the science it's a, another world but I would say science is the one of the most important thing then art can follow it I would say I'd like that answer. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the second question to Mohammed. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, Who is your favorite philosopher? Actually, <laughs> I don't have a favorite philosopher. Yeah, that's another answer. What What would be a philosopher? Socrates, uh, Confucius, Machiavelli. Machiavelli. Yeah, but if Machiavelli is a philosopher, Machiavelli is my favorite philosopher. Then you suck. Just stop <laughs> recording. <laughs> Machiavelli sucks, you know. Yeah. He he talks uh, things that yeah. He puts stuff that people doesn't want to hear in a sense. I don't want to hear either. <laughs> no, I don't agree with him. I, I would not like to live a Machiavellian life, but I agree with him in, in some certain situations. So, yeah. so Machiavelli is my he, favorite. His style too. works, right? Yeah. Yes. Even in yeah. the modern world. Yeah. Uh, your turn, Mohammed. <laughs> yeah. Come, I would like to know what is the thing that the thing that people uh, don't know about you? <laughs> <laughs> so tell us something we don't know about you. I, I, there must be something that you don't <laughs> want. You, you don't want people to know. Not, yeah, not you don't want people that don't want, don't know about you. Something you didn't tell them. Yet. Yeah, you you want them to know, but you didn't tell them yet. That's mm. that's the, the. If you don't want them to know, don't let them know. That's another uh, mm. question, actually. Uh, in one of our videos with Chatai, like he said, uh, that I'm going to uh, Paris. It's not certain, but yeah, uh, probably I will move to France, that which is not so certain yet. But this is uh, something that I would like to answer. On this I have another question. Can I ask? Okay. So, yeah. Since it's last, let me last, okay. let me ask it also. What is the thing that if you had, you would attract girls more than now? If I was rich person, yeah, then if girls would. Uh, like would interest in me more, I would say. Who says that? Gold digger? You want gold digger? I really cannot. I really cannot understand why guys think that girls go for rich guy. They don't. They they all they don't really believe me. They don't go for it. Maybe because there is too many gold diggers out there. I don't. I don't know. I, I don't really know. I don't want to interrupt his answer. Go ahead, bro. He said, "If I, it is really something that." Some, yeah, it, it's security. You are, you are telling girls that you will not have to uh, worry about something in the rest of your life. 
So let me ask you this ah, same question. I, I, I wouldn't be. Of uh, course, uh, I wouldn't choose to be a richer guy, but I would say uh, to be rich would attract more <laughs> girls. But like the question, the question is, what uh, what do you think that girls get attracted to, right? It's something like this. So, be, girls, you think that girls but there are, are attracted different, to girls? There are uh, different kinds of girls uh, and who are interested in different things. But uh, I, I would say, like some looking for being smart, some look, looking for money, some looking for being handsome or like powerful, I would say. But I, I being smart can solve many things, I would say. If you were smart, you if would I... get more. <laughs> <laughs> money is going to get more girls. <laughs> oh, yeah. He is so honest, isn't he? <laughs> so, uh, my question is to you. There are okay. two questions, actually. Okay, just ask it. What is the thing that... Uh, your favorite thing that you own now? Uh, And why it's favorite? My favorite? Uh, I have lots of favorite stuff. To be honest with you, my car. Your car? Yeah, my car. I really like my car. Uh, it's so functional and I will convert it to a camper van. And whenever I do it, it will be so easy for me to travel inside and it will be so fun. Yeah, my favorite stuff. So don't forget to watch the camper van series that he's doing on his That is upcoming. Channel. That is upcoming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Teaser. Okay, come on. Uh, I'm going to ask more. How many questions you have? Uh, this is one question. One question ah, left. Okay. If you let me, I will ask another okay, question. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I wrote too many actually. Yeah. <laughs> ask one last question. One last question. What is the question that you hate to be asked? Hmm. What is the question I that I hate to be asked? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they ask me, they ask me, uh, they ask me about my life. Uh, I mean, you know, everyone thinks there's a certain way of life. You graduate from a school, you go find a job, you then eventually get married and all those stuff. There is a pathway that people are expecting for me to live, but I am not living. And they always ask about it. So are you searching a job? No, no. So are you mm -hmm. gonna live your life like this anytime, every time? I don't know, mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> And mm -hmm. you know tons he, of questions. He but, gets mad at this thing. <laughs> but the gist, gist of the questions is about uh, making me part of uh, norms in the society. But I won't be a part of it. Uh, this is the standards. The, 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 those are the standards, and ninety-seven percent of the people lives in the standards. So ninety-seven percent. Of people you meet, they will ask about these questions actually. Yeah, the, the, always. So you have to prepare some answers yeah, for that. Yeah, and also, also. Whenever you ask, you give the answer. If, <laughs> if there is one question that I hate the most, yeah. so uh, what you're doing in the life? Nothing. <laughs> so what is your job? So what are you up to? So what have you done lately? So I hate them all. I, I don't want to answer those questions. Okay, my turn, I, I guess. Okay, uh, my question is, comes to you. I, I know the answer and uh, I agree with you at a certain point, but I still I want to answer. Why don't you use a smartphone? Why don't I use a smartphone? Let me show you what my phone is. Blackview, huh? Yeah, Blackview with all those buttons. I don't use a smartphone and I, I haven't been using lately so for five more than five years. I don't use it because I don't feel I need it. Uh, there are tons of uh, unnecessary information that is coming on that notification sound, whatever that is. And I don't want my life to be interrupted by that. I don't want to be the one that is easy to be reached via WhatsApp and all those other stuff. That is it. I just want to uh, leave it simpler. Okay. Uh, one last small question. Which childhood friend you would share, how, share a house easily? None of them. 
No. <laughs> None of them. <laughs> All John sucks. Alper is impeached by me about. Anyway, I'm yeah. not going on. <laughs> okay. Uh, my questions comes to you. Um, what 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 kind of genre or what kind of videos you watch uh, mostly on YouTube? Uh, how to stuff. How to how do. To do. Yeah, how to do many stuff because I am in the learning process. Okay, and one one last question. Yeah. This will be a bit difficult for you, but I'm really curious about it. Right. What did you learn from your longest relationship? To put the rules early in in the relationship. Uh, to, 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 to know what you want from the relationship from the early on and to share this with the partner. If you share the goals, share everything, then go ahead. Otherwise, so, yeah, early is better. Earlier is better. Okay. Yeah. I, I hope it's not a really difficult question. No, I, I would like to never have a long relationship anymore, like short. You get married or not, and th that's okay. my point of view for it now. Okay, that's all for my questions, and one last part for Jata. Okay, my turn. Uh, I want to ask, what is the motivation of your life? The motivation. I, I have short-term goals, long-term goals, and mid-term goals. Goals. <laughs> mid-term goals. So uh, the the short terms are the short term goals are always changing. Uh, I I wrote it down and I always check in them, and those are my motivation, my my best motivation actually. I every now and then I check them and I get really motivated about achieving them. So achieving your goals is yes. your motivation. Yes, written Fair goals, enough. written goals. Okay, for me. I I, uh, I really I really suggest everybody to write down your goals and check them every now and then. How about the bucket list? The bucket list is something you would like to have to do one time in a life, but goals like to achieve, like to have, to, uh, yeah, to learn something like, better. like this. Sure. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Khan, my question to you. I actually want to learn it. Uh, what is your favorite philosopher? <laughs> <laughs> I really want to know it, really. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's uh, also very challenging, but, um, I would say Aristotle and I mean, he's, he's really difficult guy, uh, in the history. Uh, so he was the mentor of uh, Alexander the Great. And, uh, besides all of the fact that he was the biggest, like earliest philosopher in the history, like in my point of view. And like Socrates was also quite influential, but he was kind of against everything. He didn't uh, like put some solid things, but Aristotle did, which I really love about Aristotle, I would say. Well, Socrates is against to a lot of stuff he said. And Socrates is also against to science, so I'm against to Socrates. <laughs> okay. <laughs> come on, bro. Come on here. Let's finish it up. Come together. Yeah. Yes. Thank you for watching our video. And if you really enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe us, all of us. I will put their um, accounts below, down below, and you, you can find them as well. Please don't forget to like and see you in the next videos.